Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about an interesting topic that is butterfly effect, which occurs in MTI and pulse Doppler radar. <coughs> butterfly effect occurs in MTI and pulse Doppler radar. We already know that MTI and pulse Doppler radars, MTI and pulse Doppler radars are used to find moving targets. Are used to find or detect moving targets. Stationary targets, we will not bother about this. Stationary targets in the MTA and pulse Doppler radar. So, in order to identify moving targets from the among the stationary clusters, it needs two information so that is Doppler information and as well as range information range information so range information is also needed at what distance the target is located range information is also needed so these are the two informations we need when the target is being identified by the moving target indicator or pulse doppler radar so let us consider the transmitting signal is having a voltage let us consider the transmitted signal b VTR transmitted signal is equal to A1 sin 2 pi F1 T. So, A1 sin 2 pi F1 T. So, A1 is the amplitude of the signal and F1 is the frequency of the transmitted signal. Okay. Now, see here, this is the signal. Now, we have taken this is the first signal VTR. Now, the same signal we are taking as a leakage signal that enters into the receiving section. So, that receiving section we are giving a leakage signal which could be known as received uh, reference signal. So, reference signal B, V reference is equal to, so V reference we can write as uh, with a different amplitude because the amplitude will be different but uh, same signal sin 2 pi f 1 t okay phase information will not vary but amplitude will be varied because of the distances matters now after some time we are receiving the echo signal from the target so after some time if target is identified we will receive we will receive echo signal we will receive echo signal echo signal is we having both so it has it has both informations what are they fd and as well as range information range information means in which parameter range information is located is defined time at what time the target is received after the transmission so time will be having this range information we know this t is equal to 2r by c t is equal to 2r by c okay time taken by the signal to transmit and as well as received back by the radar system that is 2r by c okay so echo signal is received like v echo is equal to a3 with a different amplitude sine 2 pi f1 plus fd okay we can take as f1 plus r minus fd no problem that depends upon the movement of the object f1 plus r minus fd into t minus what is this the first phase consisting of doppler information okay this f2 pi f1 plus r minus f d t is having the doppler information now we need a range information also so 2 pi f1 into this capital t so range information is nothing but 2 pi f1 into capital t so that is 4 pi f1 so at a distance r or r not whatever you can take divided by c divided by c this is what the total received signal after some time capital t 
okay so this is having the doppler information and this is having the range information this is generally having the information due after the receiving signal from the any cw any fmcw radar or your mta and pulse doppler radars because we are using the same concept here also but with the different transmitting sections okay but what we need we need only the received signals must have only the doppler information and as well as range information we don't need this transmitting signal this is the transmitting signal frequency okay we generally not required the transmitted signal frequency after the detection so once the same signal is passing through the detector the transmitted signal frequency is being eliminated and remains the doppler and range information so after the transmission of after passing through after passing through detector after passing through the detector what happens we will be having only doppler information and as well as range information so a4 sign why every time i am changing the amplitude is amplitude is not constant always frequency matters here amplitude may change that's why we are using boosters boosters are used to improve the gain or amplitude okay amplitude will always change depending upon the distance and number of blocks involved in the transmission line okay so definitely amplitude is not constant so sin 2 pi f dt minus 4 pi f1 r by c this is what the doppler information and as well as range information purely in the received signal without having any transmitted signal frequency okay now if this information if this information is displayed on the a scope display how the signals are going to be displayed so when this received signal is displayed on a scope display a scope display what happens how the how it will display okay how the signal will be displayed how the signal will be displayed if you are taking the signal a scope display for one cycle everything will be shown in equal manner that means it goes from the stationary target it goes from moving target or appear to be same okay i will go to the next slide there you can understand see this see the first waveform see the first waveform this is the received signal for one cycle this is the receive understand clearly what i am saying the uh, concentrate on only first one this is the received signal for first cycle of the transmitted signal because we are transmitting pulses rather than continuous information rather than continuous wave in pulse doppler radar or mta radar we are transmitting pulses okay so when you are transmitting pulses like this we are transmitting this pulse and waiting this much of time period for the received echo signal okay now in this period in this particular period we are receiving this echo signal okay when we have received this echo signal if you see this received signal alone only alone this one alone you cannot say which is the moving target echo and which is the stationary target echo because all are having same and what i mean what i mean to say is all are having constant amplitude so they are not keep on changing okay when you go to the next pulse this will be the echo signal when you go to the next pulse this will be the echo signal when you go to the next pulse when you go to the next pulse these are the different echo signals are being received when you go by pulse by pulse but if you see individually of any of these waveforms you cannot identify which is the moving target echo and which is the stationary target echo hope you understand what i am talking about okay uh, i will write here what happens 
if we observe a received signal received signal for one cycle all echoes all echoes means receive echoes from stationary targets and as well as echoes from stationary targets and as well as moving targets all echoes means okay all echoes are appeared appeared to be constant all echoes are appeared to be constant so moving target echoes and as well as stationary moving and stationary echoes all echoes means this is the meaning all echoes means moving targets and as well as stationary targets but if you want to separate moving target echoes and stationary target echoes so in order to what we need to do in order to identify the moving targets moving targets among large number of cutters large number of clutters clutters are nothing but stationary targets large number of clutters we go for butterfly effect nothing but we need to merge all the signals all the received pulses then we will be having the change in amplitude okay nothing but merging merging all the received signals leads to continuous change in amplitude continuous change in amplitude for which targets for moving targets moving targets are amplitudes are continuously changing but what about the stationary target every time you are transmitting the signal the target is at the same location so you will be having the same received echo strength but what about the moving signal moving target moving target is keep on changing its position so definitely the echo from the moving target is keep on changing from pulse to pulse so their effects there exists the effect called butterfly effect when you are merging so merging all the received signals leads to continuous change in the amplitude for the moving targets moving targets okay so butterfly wherever you are having the butterfly effect there you will be having the moving targets so after merging all the received signals received signals the place where we will observe butterfly effect there the echo is from moving target okay this is due to the position of the moving target the position of moving target is keep on changing okay suppose this is our radar system it is used to find one building is there okay so these are the buildings one building building is there and this is the moving target that is coming towards the that is coming towards the radar system okay uh, something like this one plane is there that is coming towards the radar system and some mountains are here different types of uh, architectures are there when we are transmitting a signal we will be having the received echo signal due to this one due to this mountain and due to these buildings okay but the mountain and building are having the same place throughout the operation of the radar system they will not 
move in their positions but what about the target our original target target may move towards or backwards of the radar system okay so the echo from this target may change every time from pulse to pulse but the echo from these buildings or stationary targets will not change okay so that's why when you merge all these received echo signals see here the if you observe the first waveform this is the echo strength we are having again we this is the echo strength we are having again the uh, echo decreases again goes down again goes the, like this and here here also you will be having the same observation that means these are the two echoes from the stationary targets but all the remaining echoes are having same amplitude for all the cycles that's when that means they are they are the echoes from the stationary targets so when you merge all these superimpose all these waveforms then what happens you will be having this effect called butterfly effect so wherever you are having this butterfly effect there we can say there there is that is the echo signal coming from the moving target so how many moving targets are there two moving targets in our observation now okay so in this way we can identify the moving targets among the stationary clusters using this butterfly effect in the mti and pulse doppler radar okay thank you